Uh, and I think that there's other, you know, there are progressive governors like O'Malley and Cuomo who've taken a much more balanced approach on, on budgets where they've looked at taxes as well as reforming programs and, and cutting programs. And so I think that's that's the approach the American people are supporting. There's a viewer here who wants you to take us deeper into entitlements mm -hmm. uh, by Twitter. Ms. Tanda, do you know, know what the president means when he says entitlements are on the table? Any specifics and anything you would endorse? Yeah, I mean, so there are a range of entitlements um, that, that, you know, I think when we're talking about entitlements, we're talking about Medicare, Social Security, Medicaid. These are programs that um, that uh, people receive support because of the status that they have. So when after 65, you get funding from Social Security and Medicare. Um, actually, it's growing, it's going getting older for Social Security. But uh, and you know the president has 300 billion dollars in his budget in cuts in Medicare. Um, that comes on top of cuts in Medicare from um, um, the Affordable Care Act. So. He has put specific cuts in the budget already in Medicare, um, and they have had savings in Medicaid in the past. Um, I think the question really is, if we're going to have a deal to address long-term deficit reduction, we need to put both entitlements on the table as well as taxes. It's unfair to ask only middle-class Americans to bear the burden of our deficits. Middle-class Americans actually didn't create the deficits. Um, so so I think the challenge is that we should have entitlements on the savings, on, on the entitlements, and uh, the Center for American Progress has, has put forward ideas on proposals to reform the beneficiary structure of Social Security. Some of our progressive allies aren't, so, aren't uh, as excited about that as we are, but we've put those ideas on the table. But we, only th we think, think that those are legitimate ideas that need to be put part of a proposal where everyone's at the table. We don't let we don't just ask middle class Americans to sacrifice. We ask all Americans, and especially you know I think it's not unreasonable to ask the wealthiest Americans to pay simply what they were paying in the Bush years. I mean, in the now.